segment, I would like to ask you about the still on the coal prices. But beside the coal prices, you mentioned a lot about the high royalties that is also considered to be a burden to the company. So what does Bumi expect in this regards? Well, um, a fair amount actually depends on what uh, are the HBA prices versus the uh, international prices. But I'm happy to say that the government has been uh, listening to the sector. And they had one revision of the HBA price formula a couple of months ago. And I'm told that today there's another announcement where another price layer of quality has been added to the HBA. Mm. So basically, the difference between the international and the HBA, HBA price is narrowing. Mm -hmm. So this should be actually, this should prove beneficial to the sector in the second half of this year. Okay. And your strategy, um, Dilip, going forward for the second half of 2023, knowing, on the other hand, the normalizations of coal prices much probably will continue even further? Well, our strategy is quite straightforward, which is that we have to ensure that our coal operations and subsidiaries are working to maximum efficiency with the highest attention paid to cost management and control. Right. Now, the second one is that... Uh, we have to meet our volume targets. And the third one is that we have to manufacture a quality mix, which is what the market wants, because we don't want to keep idle inventory. We would prefer to sell it. Mm. And uh, it also depends on the mix of what we sell. The more higher coal we sell, higher ranked coal, Mm -hmm. The higher is the revenue and the higher are the margins. So we are also trying to do a margin management in an optimal manner, okay. keeping, our, uh, keeping our markets fed with exactly what they want. The markets are a little wavy. India and China are a bit unsteady. Japan has cut its requirement by 10% this year. But I think that um, by and large, as quarter three ends and winter looms large in the in quarter four, mm. there should be a pickup in demand as usual, and we would see some kind of a contango or a rise in price at that time. Mm. So I would be looking at an upper band of 170, 180 for quarter four, mid quarter four to the end of this year. From our side, quite apart from cost uh, and KPC and efficiency, we must remember that we are a coal business. Yes. So it is our coal, coal business which is generating the volume, which is generating the revenue for us and the margins for us. So we'll try and maximize those. At the same time, because of the change in the HBA to a friendlier formula, we think Karutmin, which was under pressure, and KPC was under pressure in the first half, Mm -hmm. Hopefully, from August onwards, margins can improve. Right. And in case the government is considering finalizing the BLU concept, yeah, um, which can cover, which can, which can reimburse part of the subsidy that is given to yes. PLN cement and uh, fertilizer, that could also prove helpful. Right. But from a boomy angle, we also have two other assets which are contributing. One is Pendopo in Sumatra where there is a contribution that has started as we sell 15,000 tons of coal a month. And BRMS, which is another listed subsidiary where we own around 20% of that company, has begun its second gold production processing plant. And we expect higher and higher contributions from them as the quarters go by and the years go by. So we'll maintain KPC and Arutmin as our cash cow. We will maintain all round efficiency across the board in our coal operations. Mm -hmm. uh, we will manage our uh, costs very well. And we are hoping that part of the money that we generate for coal can be used for coal, for developing our coal downstream ambitions. Right. And also our uh, ambitions in diversification into non-coal 
And we expect to make these announcements on coal downstream and non-coal diversifications mm -hmm. by the end of this year. Coal downstream and diversification by the end of this year. Any hint for that yeah. for CNBC Indonesia, Dilip? Well, as far as coal downstream is concerned, we'd be looking at converting uh, coal into ammonia. With regard to uh, the non-coal diversifications, we have a couple of options relating to metals, but we can make more, more informed announcements as soon as everything gets finalized, hopefully by the end of this year. We expect the coal downstream project to ammonia to be operative from 2026. Mm. Wow, that's and very we suspect, nice. And we suspect that even the non-coal should be roughly around that period. Well, well, thank you so much for of your course, elaboration of that and many success for Bumi Resources. Dilip, thank you so much for joining us and having your time with Mining Zone CNBC Indonesia. Wishing you many success uh, for Bumi TBK. Thank you. Thank you so much for your very kind wishes. And I look forward to interacting with CNBC again. And thank you very much. Sure. Have a good day, Dilip.